<laughs> Yay! Mission accomplished. I just rocked up to my permission. Whoa, hey, we're finally allowed to get out in this lockdown. Solo permission only, obviously local as well. Big shout out to Jason Massey. I feel like he's played a big part in getting us out. Oi, oi. Right, I'm gonna challenge Nugget today. He's 20 mile up the road in Bromsgrove. I'm gonna try and thrash him with some buttons. Let's see what happens on the first hole. Hey, <laughs> good luck, Nugget. Well, it's a bit wet. Jesus, look at the water just running off this field. Goosh. Should bring out the signals nicely though. Let's see what we can rustle up. Oh. Oh, it's good to be back. La da 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 da. Buzz in. Hey, in the field. Following the government guidelines, we laid out metal detecting. Yes, get in there. I want a permission. I've absolutely hammered in the past, but it's local to home, so I thought I'd come down and have a look. You never know. Got the HF call. Never used the HF call on here before. So I might wink up a few bits. It has been hammered in the past, but never mind. We're out detecting. Fingers crossed we're going to find some goodies. Phil's also also out of metal detecting on his own uh, permission. He's going to do a few videos if he, if he finds anything and uh, send them over to me and we'll mix it up a bit for you. So uh, I wouldn't say it's a competition because he's, he's on land where he's had loads of good stuff. But uh, yeah, a bit of fun. We're out digging. Sab oh, just enjoy it, man. No, on this channel you ain't going to see loads of bloody dramas or anything like that. It's just metal detecting, bit in my shed, bit of making jewellery sometimes. Just yeah, over lockdown, keep me busy, but bit of fun. Hopefully, some finds. Right, let's crack on. Let's hear them beeps. Listen. Oh, I heard that for so long. All oh, right, then. I want to get my head down now and see what I can find. Yeah, I'll listen to the beeps. Coming in at 92. It looks like it could be uh, a little trade weight. I miss that it was a uh, seven and a half inches, eight inches. Yeah. Little trade weight, 1700s, 1800s, something like that. I'll take that there. It's a little find I thought I wouldn't get today. I'll take anything today, just nice to be out. But yeah. Fingers crossed we get a few goodies. But to be fair. Look at it, out in the country, wind blowing through me, bald head. <laughs> it's just nice to be out, isn't it? Right, let's keep going. Right, first hole, it's coming in at 91. Where are you? Just there, let's have a look. I look like I'm off to a good start because it's I think it's a token it's very thin then it just bent in my hand a little bit so it's let's get it in the sunlight or a shotty tip I'm not sure I'm gonna have to get it off camera and have a look get some water on it but that's a good start <laughs> and it's not a button so there you go nugget frags off so 
solid 90. It's probably rubbish, but it could be a big coin. It could be a nice big silver. Come on, baby. Be good to me. Come on, baby. No, that's going to be crap, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, livery button. Something that was missed out could have easily been a silver coin. Uh, why that was singing then I thought it was going to be something better. But, it's another find in the pot. Right, we want a gold coin next. I've been at it now for about 20 minutes and I ain't found a coin, so... <laughs> Not happy, I'm going to go home in a minute. I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> Back to reality. <laughs> Braxter's got something. Oh yes, a little lead ball. But I'm gonna say that's a Saxon pin end. <laughs> Come on, Nugget, catch up. He's gone and done it at last. Chiching number one button. And it's a four roller. How are you getting on in Bromsgrove, Nugget? Oh my god. See that rain in the it's rain in the clothes. Covered by it. All the way around me. I think it's gonna piddle down in a minute. I'm a bothered. No. We're digging. We're out in the field. If we get wet, we get wet. We get wet, we get wet. First proper find. Uh, what time was it? One o'clock. I've been going quite a while now, a couple of hours. Coming in at 88. Oh, it looks like a ring. Pauper's ring. Oh, yeah. That's quite nice. Let's take my gloves off. Yeah, I'm chuffed with that. That's a bit of summer, isn't it? We don't mind it as long as it's got. Uh, it's not just crap. I've had loads of bits of brass and all sorts and Victorian rubbish. This is probably Victorian sort of period. Could be a bit earlier. Brass pauper ring, probably Victorian sort of time or just before. What's up? Right, we want a gold one next. <laughs> oh, lunchtime at last. But this is the best bit. The old tradition that we've missed so much. Cake. You're in trouble, mate, because look what this is. <laughs> it's a little Roman fibula. Oh, frags on the Roman. You're going to have to... <laughs> I can't believe it. You're going to have to pull your finger out, brother. <laughs> Right, let me get some, let's get some spray. Look at that. No spring, tiny little baby one. But I'll take that all day long. Come on, Nugget, on the Roman! <laughs> oh, it's starting to piddle down now. Is soaked. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how Nugget's getting on. Phil, I know you messaged me earlier, said you had something nice. 
on the Roman or something. Yeah, he played there. Uh, oh, I've had, oh, I've had loads and loads of bits of brass and buttons and crap. I ain't gonna bother filming all that. Uh, but I had that. Would have been nice ring. Shame it's uh, brass or bronze. Yeah, it'd be brass, won't it? But it's just nice to be out. Even if it is freezing cold and pissing down the rain. <laughs> and I can't find nothing. I've a path for nothing. Oh. The jewelry smell detecting. Oh, it's just nice to be out, isn't it? So I think Phil might spank me today. He's going to have some, uh, he's, uh, he's had a permission where there's been some really good stuff come off there. It had gone quiet, it had been on a rally like it had done a rally on there and that. And uh, it had gone a bit quiet, but some of the stuff that come off, top draw, so. I hope, hope he does, I hope he finds some nice stuff. We've all been waiting long enough, help me to get back out there. The next field, not that one, the one behind, we can't see it, can you, but behind me, behind, behind you, it was when I very first started metal detecting. With my Garrett Ace 250 going along, and uh, I got a coin. I sent a picture to uh, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember his name. Now. I used to run uh, Midlands Metal Detecting. JJ sent a picture to him saying, I think I found a hammered. He's like, Yeah, it's a big stonking hammered coin. So I was buzzing off that. He said, Keep going, keep going. So I kept going up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, and I, I come back every day for about a week. And in the end, I had like uh, five hammer coins and some other bits and bobs in the area. Like my first ever hoard, only a little hoard, but it was oh the, the buzz off. Oh, I'd only been doing it about just a few months. Not I only just started like the Garrett AC50. Oh my god! And that's what got me mega hooked. Finding that. So this farm's been good to me over the years. I've had it for years and years and years. But it's a uh, it's a miss, very hit and miss. Well, you keep plodding on, you never know, you might have something in a minute. Oh, oh living the dream. Don't, don't. <laughs> that uh, cigar advert. <laughs> yeah, I think I might go. I want to go all over, but I'm going to have a little sniff up against the edges as well. Right up in the tricky areas against the uh, the fence and that. Get as close as I can where you probably haven't searched that much before. See if I can win. Well, the aim is to try and get a, a silver coin would be nice, but any coinage and stuff like that. Any finds that are not just random bits of shit. I want something with a bit of history. All right. I want to have my tin of cold soup in a minute. Get my energy up. And we're going to smash it. Time's it now. Two o'clock. Got uh, about two and a half hours left. Go away, Ryan. Oh, this isn't what I uh, pictured when I was on lockdown, thinking about going metal detecting. I thought I'd be out in the sun, finding loads of hammer coins, and uh, <laughs> smashing it. I'm out, I ain't paying ugly anything, I'm soaking wet, I'm freezing. <laughs> the reality of metal detecting, it's not always easy, is it? Nah, never mind. In a minute, you never know, I might find something nice. Please. <laughs> Keep on going, eh? Yay! Mission accomplished. I got my first coin. Ah! Who is it? George. Oh, it's a nice Vicky. Just see the VI there. A Queen Victoria. It's a young head, little bun head, so. It's, the, it's in the early 1800s. 
We're on the coins. Go sovereign next. Just took there. Oh, it looks like gold. Oh, but when I turned it back over, it's got a shank on it. You bastard! Look at that. Oh, that's naughty. That is. Thought I was on the gold then. Oh, gold gilded button. <coughs> Right, just had, this is an 83, and I'm hoping that it is a Roman. It's looking promising. Oh, yes, get in there. <laughs> nugget, nugget, second Roman. <laughs> Oh, no way! It's a beauty as well. That coming pinging. Let's put it down, let's try and get it focus. No, come on, come on. Let's have a look. Look at that. Two slaves. On the back. Where are you? Just see the bust. <laughs> ah, sun's still in my eyes. Ah! Right light, right light. Lunchtime check in with Nugget. How you doing down in Bromsgrove, mate? Two Roman for me so far. A little pistol ball, a button, a uh, shotty cap. Those are little bits of slag, uh, lead some sort of brass or uh round sort of thing i don't know what that was but um but yeah it's um it's going not too bad for my first dig i mean usually it's just a couple of buttons but two roman a little baby fibula and now i've just popped a lovely roman coin just before lunch absolutely buzzing mate like i said earlier on you best pull your finger out nugget because i've got this one in a bag mate in a bag